While this, that, these, and those may look simple at first glance, they are used in many ways and can be confusing for language learners. Number one, demonstratives. This is used to point to an object or person that is near the speaker. This is my book. Barb, I would like you to meet John. John, this is Barb. That is used to point to an object or person that is far from the speaker. That is my car over there. Who is that person across the street? These is the plural form of this. These are my books right here. Those is the plural form of that. Those are my friends over there. Number two, time. This and these are used to refer to current time or events. At a party. Wow, this is a great party. These days, people are shopping more and more online. That and those are used to talk about past time or past events. That was an amazing party last week. Those were great days when I was 20. Number three, relative pronoun. That is used as a relative pronoun to give more information about a person, object, or idea. Look, there's the car that I want to buy. Tina is the woman that I met at my birthday party. One of the problems with texting is that it distracts us from communicating face-to-face -face with people. Number four, highlighting importance. In writing your speeches, we highlight the importance of a subject by using this or these. We use that and those to distance or minimize the importance of a subject. Texting can cause accidents. For this reason, police must crack down on it. These accidents might have been prevented. That you don't agree with me is not my problem. Those type of arguments that seek to minimize the danger of texting and driving are irresponsible. That's all, folks. Thanks for joining me.